Yeah, I suppose, Gavin, I did. Um, it just felt right. It just felt right after the game to to kind of call it a day. I suppose I've been at it, at it a long time now, but look, after the game on on Sunday, it just felt right, you know, to to, uh, to call all to it for all the world. Absolutely. Uh, disappointing end, I suppose, particularly uh, the manner of the defeat. Uh, JJ went so close against Clare in the Munster quarterfinal and uh, Westmead, I suppose, uh, a very strong team. And uh, I suppose it was a, a disappointing end uh, for uh, for you as players and indeed for the management. Oh, it was a disappointing end, but it was actually a, it was actually a lot closer than, uh, than what I suggested. Um, we had the, that penalty shout, like it was an absolute scandalous call. Like mm. I've I seen that, a video actually. Yeah, a video, on I know Twitter, a video yeah. going mm. around. And like he dived, he dived at Fergal like and, and ankle tapped him with his hand like, and the referee, the referee just waved it away whether he didn't see it or not. But look, in my opinion, that's where the umpires sort of came in, and they could see it clearly that he was foul going through. That would have brought us back to two points. And we were playing with a with a strong enough breeze, and you, you don't know what could have happened after that, you know. So it was disappointing in the end when decisions don't go your way. But look, it is what it is, and you know we move on. Yeah, I suppose a lot of people will argue, uh, JJ, that you know when you're playing away in the qualifiers, and especially when you're like a Waterford, maybe down in the the lower divisions as well. Uh, these tight calls often seem to go against the smaller counties. Like uh, it seems very kind of you know harsh at times. Yeah, and kind of had that feeling all game that no matter what we did, we were never going to get the decisions that Westmead were getting for some reason. Like it, it, it felt very, it was like maybe he didn't want the the home crowd on on his back or whatever like but there was times there like and I don't look referees have a hard job but there was times there he was struggling he was at the opposite 45 when the ball was up in the 21 like you know he was he, he was struggling like but it just seemed all game and I know from talking to the management that after they felt it on the line as well it just felt like no matter what we did we weren't going to get a decision that the West Mead were you know but look we're not we're not in any way que- questioning the, the, the defeat like over refereeing or anything like that but it just did feel it did feel like that on Sunday, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I suppose it's a, a, a disappointing end um, because, in fairness to, to Benji, obviously under new management this year, uh, JJ he's come in and brought a great level of enthusiasm, I suppose, to the camp and you know three wins in the league, put it up to Clare in the Munster Championship. So um, I suppose it's a disappointing note to go out on, but um, obviously there was good progress made this year. Oh yeah, very good progress, Gavin. I think uh, I do think Benji is the man to to bring this forward for for Waterford football. You could see with the job he done with with Denier and you know he's got a good backroom team behind him and I suppose the biggest thing he done was he, he introduced a lot of young lads to the, to the panel and you know they brought a great freshness to it a great enthusiasm and they want to be there and you know that probably made my decision a little bit easier on Sunday than I knew that we had a lot of young lads in, in, in the background waiting for their chance so look when we develop them like you, you know like hopefully we can we can move up the divisions in the next few years, you know. Mm, yeah, let's hope so. And I know we'll get we get be getting you into the studio maybe in the next uh, couple of weeks to go into more uh, have a more detailed chat. But obviously you've given a uh, great service, a decade of service uh, to Waterford. Played under four different uh, managers as well uh, during your tenure. J, uh, JJ John Owens, Niall Carew, Tom McGlinchey, and Benji. So um, I'm sure you'll you'll look back on uh, I suppose you know a, a great career uh, with the Dacia footballers and always uh, done that jersey with great pride. Oh yeah, I absolutely loved every minute of it, Gavin. You know, any time you put on, I suppose the water, your club jersey anyway, and and the Waterford jersey, you you you, you wear it with with great pride, and you know you're committed to the cause, like you know. But look, my time at Waterford, like, was was great. Like you know, people say, oh, you're down in Division Four, you're this, but I loved, I lo- I absolutely loved every minute of it. You know, I just love representing my family, my club. You know, it was great over the last number of years, and. Look, it, it, I suppose last year in Wexford was and over in London in 2011 and running out in Crow Park in the National League final in my first year. You know, I probably thought that it was going to happen every year after, but unfortunately it didn't. But there are great memories that I'd have anyway, because, like, you know, I, I live for as much as I love hurling and, you know, playing, playing hurling, I, I absolutely live for Gaelic football. And, you know, that's my number one sport. And, you know, I just continue on now with, with, with both Ballygunner and called here and try maybe bring the elusive Conway Cup back to back to Dunmore East because he's got Mm-hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, of course. You alluded to the 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 Wexford game last year. Of course, you you struck that wonder goal as well, and you could see the scenes on the field afterwards. Uh, that blistering hot day, what it meant to you as players, and uh, of course Tom McGlinchey uh, doing great work the last couple of years and carrying on the good work from from previous managers as well. Just to to get that win last year, JJ meant so much, especially to maybe players like yourselves and the experienced players who were around the block for a few years. Yeah, that was a very fun day in Wexford. Like, there's no point 
beating around the bush. It was it was a it was a great day, you know, and I was delighted for for Tom to get to get the win as well. But um, look, great day, you know, getting a win down there away from home. I suppose in the qualifiers was was a big thing. Unfortunately, we had to get we had to draw Monaghan in the next round because there was a lot of favourable teams left. But you know, look, it'll. Uh, It'll stand out in my memory as, as one of the great days anyway, yes, for sure. Mm, absolutely, yeah. And um, I know we were just chatting off air there, uh, JJ. It's, uh, you know, I suppose important now that, you know, Benji can carry on the good work and maybe, you know, uh, football in the county can drive forward as well. Obviously, it's probably playing second fiddle to the hurling with, with quite some time now. But obviously, he as players uh, always have given, a, you know, a great attitude and application anytime you've put on that uh, football jersey. And it's about, I suppose, driving it forward now, um, you know, from, from all levels, really, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Absolutely, Gavin. Like from it needs to happen from the ground up. Like in you know, and the, and the county board need to back it. You know, they need to back football. Like we seem to be throwing, like not having any dig or anything at the hurlers, but we just seem to throw throw our eggs into one basket with with hurling. Like you know, and there's plenty, plenty, plenty of good footballers around the county that have been told like that they're not they're not to play football. Like if they want to be on a hurling panel and this, like you know, for me that's crazy. Like because careers are really short and. And young lads, like once the balance is right, should be allowed should be allowed play both codes because it can work. Once managements talk to each other and players talk to management, you know it can easily work. Like you know, because at the end of the day, down the line, you might make a hurling panel in the future, and you've given up football four years ago, and it's hard to get back into it. Like so, I would encourage any young lads to do both if they can. You know, I know it's a it's a hard commitment, but if they can, any way at all, like to, to give. To give it the boat and see see what works out, like you know, because look, you might be you might one might favour the other, like you know, and and you could have a good good career down the line. Mm-hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, great advice indeed. And um, I know we'll get you in uh, in a couple of weeks' time to to go into the maybe forensics of it, JJ. But um, is there any standout moment from your own uh, inter county career uh, that you'd kind of put as a highlight? I would. I'd say definitely up there. Anyway, run down. Crow Park in the 2010 National League final, you know, uh, I, even though I was a sub and I didn't play that day, you know, it was my first my first year on, on, on the football panel, getting to Crow Park, you know, I know we went up on Wednesday night for a bit of a kick around beforehand and the buzz and, you know, the whole buzz around around um, the whole thing was great and then we went up on the Saturday and, you know, we ran out in the Crow Park, lucky, unlucky against Limerick on the day, like, you know, but it was great for but like to Wayne Hennessy, Limo Lenon, Gary Hurney, Shane Briggs, you know, to play with all them and run out in Crow Park with them was special. And then I suppose you're looking at last year down Wexford when, when we did um we did get our first win in, in seven years in the championship, you know, it was it was um, a great day and a great night was heading on Garvin after as well, which made us Made it good as well. Mm, yeah, down on the keys there in, in Dungarvan, you were certainly hovering around there for a few nights last summer, which was which was great to see. And uh, I suppose JJ, you are back now to the the club scene now with uh, obviously your beloved goal tier in the football. Uh, you know, great start to the championship that'll be resuming in the next couple of weeks, and obviously the hurling with Bally Gunner going for six in a row as well. So obviously there's uh, there's no break for you. Your inter county career may be over, but I'm um, back at it now with the club. I suppose is, which which is um, where it all starts. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, looking forward to to getting back with the club as well. Like you know you. You'd be devastated after getting knocked out of the inter county for for a few days after, but then you get back club train to the lads, you know. And I know the hurlers are back now as well, so you know there's a good buzz around around club train. And you know, I know we have hurling next weekend, and then football two weeks later. So I suppose we're going to be under pressure in the football a little bit with with um, with holidays and stuff. But who knows? You know, if we can get a third win, we'll be into a quarter final. If not, we'll have to settle for a playoff place and. And try to get through that way, but look, we're out in Galt here anyway. We're hoping to bridge bridge a, a gap, like you know, we have some nice young, talented footballers coming. So you know, to try try hang on as, as long as possible, and maybe uh, maybe get over the line someday mm, in the yeah. future. You know, yeah, you never know. With Bally Gunner, is, with Bally Gunner, then as well, like you know, we're going for six in a row, but. You know, it was a long year last year, so we're trying to we're trying to time it for all the world. Like you know, try to get get back and in, into a county quarter final first, and and take it from there. You know, mm, yeah, build up the uh, momentum, I suppose, ahead of uh, what's going to be another interesting season on the club front. Well, JJ Hutchinson, absolutely uh, brilliant uh, to get your views, and uh, you know, congrats on a, on a real glittering inter county career. And I know uh, we'll get you into studio in the next couple of weeks to have a more uh, detailed chat. But I uh, appreciate you taking the call and. Uh, Congrats on a great career and uh, look best to look at Bally Gunner and Gaultier for the rest of the season. Thanks very much, Gavin. Cheers.